And at the end of the day, we got to make it work and we got to find ways to win football games. Strong words from Broncos safety Justin Simmons as the Broncos get ready to play in prime time tonight against the New York Jets. And it's a game you can watch right here on Denver 7. Good morning. Thanks for joining me for Denver 7 News at 11. I'm Eric Lufer in for Brian Sanders and Molly Hendrickson. The Broncos will have to overcome a lot of injuries tonight and the team will have its third starting quarterback of the season. They're also winless on the season, but so are the Jets. Broncos head coach Vic Fangio says the players are hungry to get their first win. I think the morale of the guys is good. You know, um, we understand the situation we're in. Um, we can't change anything that's happened. All we can do is look forward and prepare for our next game, which is coming here quickly on Thursday. And I think our attitude is good. The Broncos are full of injuries. No Von Miller, Cortland Sutton, or quarterback Sutton, rather, or quarterback Drew Locke. Locke will still be out for at least a few more weeks. And tonight, quarterback Brett Rippon will get his first career NFL start. He'll be the ninth starting quarterback since Peyton Manning retired. Denver 7 Sports Director Lionel Bienvenu introduces us to the new Broncos quarterback. Good morning, all. Welcome to game day. Ah, yes. There's no better day of the week than game day. In this case, it's game night. Thursday night football, Broncos and Jets right here on Denver 7. And we got to introduce you to Brett Rippon, the third starting quarterback for the Broncos this season. Now, we're going into game four, so that's not best case scenario. It usually means you're 0-3. They are. The good news is Brett seems exactly to know what he's doing. He's very smart. Great football IQ. 24-year-old free agent drafted, wasn't drafted out of Boise State. He was signed to the practice squad. And now after going 8 of 9 against the Bucks, they put him in. He's got a chance to prove himself once again and show he's got what it takes to make it in the NFL. I just have to go out there and, you know, prove people wrong. And, um, you know, for me, I played play this position for a long time. I played four years in high school. I played four years in college. So I've seen a lot of a lot of games. I've seen, you know, got a lot of reps, seen a lot of defenses. And, um, you know, I think that's my probably my best quality is being able to understand uh, defenses and think fast and get the ball out. He executes well. He's, uh, he's quick minded. He gets the ball out quickly, um, which I think is important. Um, you know, and he went in and did some good things. Uh, and so, you know, that's that's what we're going to do moving forward. We're looking forward to putting the plan together for him to be able to go out and execute and, um, you know, try to put that effort on the field and get a win. He's quick minded. That's what you got to be behind that offensive line to avoid a sack. <laughs> All right. Thursday night football kickoff 620 complete pregame coverage starting at four o'clock and going right up to six. And we got complete postgame coverage, too, right after the game is over. So Brett gets the start tonight. If he can get the win, then will Drew Locke be back for the next game, October 11th at New England? Look, there's a chance. But Broncos inside of Troy Rank said it's probably going to be October 18th in Miami when Drew comes back from that sprained shoulder. So can Brett Rippon take this team, lead this team to two wins and be on a two-game win streak by then? Is there still hope? Yes, they could also be 0-5. We will find out. That's the beauty of sports. You have no idea what's going to happen, but it all starts tonight against the Jets right here on Denver 7. 0-5 oh, would not be fun. Our Broncos insider Trey Rank says one player to keep an eye on during tonight's game is Broncos running back Melvin Gordon. Rank says the team may have to lean on him to ease the pressure on Rippon, who is getting his first NFL start, of course, tonight. And someone to keep your eye on when the Broncos are on defense is safety Justin Simmons. Rank says Jets quarterback Sam Darnold gives opponents two or three chances a game to catch an interception. We will have more coverage of tonight's game starting on the news at 4. Tonight's kickoff is at 620 right here on Denver 7. And stick around after the game for post-game coverage.